Hey everyone, we're Ooh, back. Baby. Let's um, turn off the lights and turn on the lights. Wow. Uh, we're back. Um, sorry the last episode was a bit longer than I anticipated. I should have just saved all the dialogue here for this episode, but I thought it would fit. Um, anyway, we were uh, talking to all the uh, sync appliances um, and installing their upgrades. So we have one more for Muggy because we went into the Securitron factory. Hollow tape received upgrading parts production. Supply of energy cells, microfusion cells, and scrap electronics. Available once per day. Oh, please, please tell me you brought me some coffee cups. Uh, have you made any electronic components? <laughs> yep, here you go. Cool. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I get it. So long, pal. <laughs> uh, poor Muggy. Uh... I think, isn't the toaster in here? Yes, the toaster. <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom! Mm-hmm. Tremble, you're a toaster. How fearsome can you be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Uh, why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? <laughs> You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Well I, <clears throat> well, I for one am quaking in my boots. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! <laughs> I'd like to change the subject. Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Almost afraid to ask what your function is. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like. Uh-huh. Uh, what else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics. You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for any Saturnite power fist then. You find one. You bring it on back here. And we'll burn this mother down! Uh... Do I have one on me? Like I said, bring me a Saturnite Power Fist and I'll hook that shit up for you! Uh, well, I got some toasters for you. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, yes. The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! <laughs> Processed toasters and appliances. Fifteen. Wow, we had a lot. Okay. I love mugs so much, I just might kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't seen a post of <laughs> with Muggy on uh, the... Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, or New Vegas. Right, I think we have a Saturday Night Power Fist. I have a regular one, and then... Nice, okay, and then... Do we have... Uh... Coffee pot. Oh, coffee mugs. Nice. Uh, clipboards. I think we'll need those later. All right, egg timers. I wanted to see if the toaster could break those down. Clipboards. Clipboards. Clipboard. 
Fields. Uh, maybe, maybe he can do vacuum cleaners? Let's see. Can you break down vacuum cleaners? Yes! Yes! Soon my work will be complete! Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! You know the world already burned in nuclear fire, right? Soon I will! What? It, it did? Yes, a couple centuries ago, in fact. Really? Well, fuck! <laughs> that really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! <laughs> Never really understood how the Fallout Universe toasters work. Like, does this thing fold down and you put your toast in on one side, or...? Uh, anyway, about that superheated... Like I said, bring me a Saturnite power fist and I'll hook that shit up for you! Uh, you mean like this one? Oh, baby. That is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here. I'll soup it up for you. There you go. Have fun nice. with that. Burn the fucking world for me. <laughs> um, okay, and then... Not just... Okay. Huh. Maybe he can't process those. Okay, uh, where's... Ah, the book shoot. I love the book shoot. Ah, good day, citizen. Library processing unit 232.7 is online and ready to eradicate sedition. Eradicate sedition? Of course, citizen. That's my duty and sole joy in life. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. Just dump them in and lickety-split. I'll have them pulped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again, clean and white, and sedition free. Um, but those books are our last legacy of the time before. You can't destroy them. Citizen, that sounds dangerously seditious. If my reindoctrination module was installed, I'd take care of that for you. Sadly, that system was cut for budget concerns, so you'll have to perform your own indoctrination. Now, to begin with, you'll need a cage that can fit over your head and a sack of mole rats. Uh-huh. Um, so you make blank books. Well, what's the point of that? Blank books are better for the mind, citizen. Real science by real men in lab coats has proved that introducing outside thoughts confuses the brain. Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. Also, I suppose you could use them to keep a journal. Uh-huh. Can you do anything besides processing books? What good is eradicating sedition if the malcontents have ready access to the means to make more, citizen? I could also process pencils and clipboards. Wait a moment. Pencil processors offline? Pencil processors offline? Apologies, citizen. It seems traitors have absconded with that module. If you can find a backup copy of the module, I will happily eradicate your ability to create seditious literature. Uh, okay. Stay loyal, citizen. I think I found that module. Yeah, okay. Secondary materials mulching. Um, pencils, clipboards are processed into lead, spare parts, and duct tape. That Greetings, citizen. Useful. Ready to receive seditious materials. I have some seditious materials for you to process. Fantastic, citizen. Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you a beautiful, clean book. Won't that keep you happy and docile, citizen? It will. <laughs> Process my pencils. 23 pencils removed. 115 lead. Bunch of scrap metal, Jesus. Greetings, citizen. Uh, yep, process my clipboards. 
medical clipboards, 32 clipboards, 20 earnings clipboards, 30 finance clipboards, 91 duct tapes, <laughs> 91 scrap metals. Greetings, citizen. Ready to receive seditious materials. All right, and the grand, wait, actually, need to get more books. Yeah, he can take these. Um, is there anything? Do we have uh, like pre-war books or something? No, I guess not. You smell correct. Greetings, citizen. Ready to receive seditious materials. I'm ready for you to process them. Fantastic, citizen. Just input your quantity of seditious material on my interface, and in no time at all, I'll have you a beautiful, clean book. Won't that keep you happy and docile, citizen? It will. Process my books. of books. Uh, 86, wow. Um, uh, two pre-war. Four hundred and sixty-three blank books. All right, so let's. Hmm. Let me show you what you can use those for. Um, oh, that's right, you can upgrade the modules. Oh, and I actually, so I, we had that GRX module, I upgraded it. It required like jet and turbo to upgrade it. Um, does this one need a conductor? All right, so skill book explosives. Wonder glue. <laughs> We've got plenty of that. Excellent. Big book of science. The book is actually only medium sized, but it's chock full of cool science shit. <laughs> uh, okay. So, duck and cover. There was a turtle by the name of Bert, and Bert the turtle was very alert. When danger threatened him, he never got hurt. He knew just what to do. So now our explosives are at a hundred. Nice. So what else do we have to upgrade? We need melee weapons, sneak, and survival. Um, what is best in life? Well, to crush your enemies and see them driven before you, and to hear the lam lamentations of their women, obviously, what else would it be? Melee weapons increased. Um, this issue tells a tale of a great conflict between a fat man and the man with the... Oh, shit, I dropped it. and a man with the edgiest name th through the lens of our titular jerky-based hero. Okay. 
Honestly, the contents of this obviously post-war book are dubious at best, but the tips about how to suck on cacti for nutrients are pretty solid. Cool. And then... I guess we haven't found the sneak one yet, so... We'll get that one at some other point. collection of these. Okay. Uh, let's check out that superheated. Looking exceptionally sharp today. If so, will permit the compliment. Nice. Oh, not in this one. This goes down here. Okay. And we got one more machine to talk to. Biological Research Station. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah, all oh, circuits online. Ready to receive your seed. Whoa, buddy. We're uh, keeping this on YouTube, not Pornhub, okay? Um, what did you just say? Your seed, baby. I'm the original, certified, rarefied, testified GS2000 Biological Research Station. Yes, sir. I'm a seed cloning machine. You got seeds? I'll clone the shit out of them. Alright, well that's more appropriate. I command you to open your port and receive my seed. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. Just slip it in there. All the way down in that dark, moist earth. Mmm, launching interface. Um, pr process seed into the planter? All my friends have off switches. You got some plans for me, don't you? Yeah, I can smell it all over you. <sighs> uh, process? I love it when you talk like that. Let me just get that interface up and running for you. Uh, convert plant matter into salient green. You got some plans for me, don't you? What does that mean? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, and I'll work my mojo on them. Clone you of all kinds of plants. Oh, yeah. I can also break them down for you, if you're into the kinky stuff. Bring me any old plant parts, and I'll grind them up into salient green for you. Yeah. You like that, don't you, baby? Uh... If I... Okay, so we... Yeah, we did that. What's salient green? Just the miracle of life in sticky, gooey, liquid form, baby. Heat that gunk up over a campfire and just watch it congeal into all kinds of plants. So if I bring you samples of dried plant life, you can clone them and grow them into these planters? You know it, baby. I just need some samples and I got you going. Take a few days, but trust me, it's all kinds of good. Mm. Okay. Uh, well, I have to go now. Hurry back with that seed now, baby. Alright, and... Sweet. Yo, auto dock. Curious, can I? Oh, yeah, so I have the GRX thing in my hotkey now. Curious, can you shoot, Muggy? <laughs> I 
Guess not. Um, where's a, oh yeah, it's this thing. Yeah, so you can clone stuff now. Um, rock flower, Xander root. We could make healing powder, but we can also make stim packs with that. And sure, why not? Okay. Well, uh, so we talked to all of them, they're all installed now. But it wants us to find upgrades for them. Okay. Um, well, I'm thinking next episode we're going to go back into the think tank and talk to them. Get to meet our science friends. In the meantime, I'm going to have to store all my materials and stuff. The sink's uh, Might I be of service, sir? inventory here doesn't really refresh that often well it refreshes because I got a bug fix for that but its cap level is very low so yeah I can't really sell stuff quick enough but uh, yeah we'll be back and uh, go talk to the scientist next <laughs>